and welcome to a Baking with Jim video. Today I'm going to attempt to make profiteroles and I emphasise the word attempt because these are very difficult and I'm expecting them to go badly. Here they are, they look brilliant. Now the ingredients look really easy. You need plain flour, golden castle sugar, eggs, butter, cream. That's it. But I'm told that these are hard. So, um, oh, chocolate, where's my chocolate? Here's my chocolate, you need chocolate too. Step one, preheat the oven to 190, uh, line two baking trays of greaseproof paper and set aside. I can do that. Trays. Fine, it'll be in the outer. Somewhere I have scissors. I've got scissors in this drawer down here, but I can't actually get to this drawer down here because my tripod's in the way. Oh, something's sticky. What are you? They weren't in that drawer, they're in this one. Oh no, I've got the paper! It's going wrong already. Yeah. Alright. Trays done. Step two. Place 250 millilitres of water, the butter and sugar in a large saucepan, set over a low heat until the butter has melted. So that is 50 grams of golden castle sugar and 100 grams of unsalted butter. Oh, that's too much. 50 grams of golden castle sugar, 225 millilitres of water, going in. And 100 grams of butter. Now I'm not even going to measure the butter because on my packaging here I have 25 gram intervals, so I just need four of them. Oh, I've got it on my hands. Well, I don't like it. Now that should be 100 grams. Get off. Oh, that's not nice. Alright, onto a low heat until the butter melts. While that's going, I will read the next step. Turn up the heat and bring the mixture to a simmer. Take off the heat, quickly pour in the flour and immediately start to beat until a smooth dough has formed. That's where it gets tricky, I think, and then set aside to cool. Is this a, is this a shoe pastry? I think this is a shoe pastry. I'm not really up on my pastries. What other ones are there? I think this is a shoe. I don't know. I've never really made pastry by hand before. Anyway, I need 120 grams of plain flour, so I'll measure that out now. Come on. Oh, 119. 120! There we go, good stuff. Well, 121 now, so that little tiny bit went in. Give me a break. There you go. My butter's melting nicely in the water and sugar. It doesn't really like emulsify though, I'm not sure if it's supposed to, but at this point I've got liquid with melted butter just floating in it. Turn up the heat and bring the mixture to a simmer, take off the heat and quickly pour in the flour. Okay, let's try this. Do you know what? I don't think this hob has enough juice to get up to a simmer, so I'm going to move to a bigger one. Basically, I'm well out of my depth here. That's what I'm getting at. Right, I feel like we're reaching a simmer, everyone, so now it's panic stations, you have to do this a bit quickly. So, take it off the heat. Oh god, no, we've gone past the simmer into a boil, that's not good. Off the heat, pour in the flour, and immediately start to stir. Okay, let's go. So far, it's not smooth at all. Oh, do you know what? We're getting somewhere. I feel like that's getting smooth. Although, there are some horrific lumps of flour in there. I'm just gonna try and squish out <laughs> some of my lumps of flour. I've literally never made anything of that consistency before. What are you? Is that what it's supposed to look like? Anyone know? Right, set aside to cool. Okay. Beat the eggs in a jug. Slowly add the eggs to the dough in small batches, beating the egg fully into the dough each time until the dough is smooth, glossy, and has a soft, Dropping consistency. What's a dropping consistency? You may not need all the egg. How do you know? Oh my god, I'm panicking. Right, four eggs beaten. Days I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. I mean, listen, I know I'm not at profiterole stage yet, but I can't see how that is going to turn into profiterole. Maybe when I add the eggs in, it'll all look different. Who knows? I'll add a bit like that. Oh, is that too much? I just don't know. Right, now let's beat. So at this point, it's turned to bits. <laughs> it's not beating. It's turned into many little chunks with <laughs> egg kind of in between them. There we go. It just takes time and patience. That's all. Don't doubt yourself. I've got this. Okay, more egg because I've got to get to my dropping consistency. And right now, I think that's more of a throwing consistency. Plow through, Jim. <laughs> this is tough. Is that dropping consistency? It should have dropped faster than that. It is dropping, but should it have gone by now? <laughs> I reckon that's a good consistency. Look at that. Yeah, that's dropping. Yeah, good. Oh my god, we've cranked this up to 11. Transfer the dough to a piping bag with a one centimeter nozzle, then pipe small balls onto the baking tray, so leaving space between each ball. Pat the top of each ball with a wet finger so that each ball is smooth. Shit. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. Where's the, where's the piping stuff? I know my wife has it somewhere. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, I've got piping bags. That's massive. Oh, there's two of them there. Piping bags and nozzles here. This is the biggest one. There's no way that's a centimetre, is there? 
I've got a tape measure, I'll find out. A half a centimetre. Mmm, that's half the size I need. I'm gonna call the wife. Hey, you okay? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm about to pipe dough for the first time in my life. It says I need a one centimetre um, nozzle, and I've only got a half a centimetre nozzle. Have you got a bigger one anywhere? I've got a nozzle box in the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> nozzle box is the best thing in the world. I've just found your nozzle box, uh, and all I can find is half a centimetre. Have you found loose nozzles anywhere? No, do we have loose nozzles? Yes, I do. The more you say um, nozzle, the weirder it sounds. Where are they? Oh, my camera's in the way. Okay, thanks, I'll have a look. Do I just do like one squirt, or do I have to do more? How big should these balls be? Like half a golf ball. Half a golf ball, okay. Right, thanks mate. Love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. I might have found nozzles, I'm gonna have to move you, and then put you back, and I hope that I can put you back in the same spot, because otherwise it's gonna look weird, isn't it? But hang on. Oh, I found nozzles, it's totally worth it. Ooh, okay, so I've got one that's half a centimetre, or one that is a centimetre and a half. So now you find me at a crossroad, trying to choose between the two. I'm gonna go small and just do more. The problem with the dropping consistency is that when you try and get it into a bag, it just wants to drop. In you go. Okay, I'm gonna have to accept the fact that I'm gonna get messy, <laughs> because I've already kind of coated the outside of my bag in dough. I just, I was not ready for this. I, I took too much on, I felt like I was being kind of really cocky and was like, yeah, I'm a good baker now, I've done loads of baking videos. I'm well out of my depth. Look, I've managed to give it a kink somehow. Just get in there. I hate piping, pastry, dough, whatever the hell you are. It's just too messy and I don't like it. Oh, okay, it's coming out. Ah, right, I need half a golf ball size according to the wife. So, here we go. What do we think, is that big enough? I'm gonna go with that. Still so much dough in there. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing with my life? They're all gonna be fine. Do you know, whenever I do one of these videos, I get people who actually bake, people who like bake as a, as a living, leaving loads of comments about how bad I am. Uh, <laughs> have fun with this one, guys. Oh my god, who's calling me now is not the time? <sighs> That'll do, right. Time to wet my fingers and smooth it down. I think it's more of a thumb job than a finger job. Not the first time I've said that. <laughs> I feel a bit weird doing it, like I'm, I feel like I'm violating them. While they're cooking, I'm gonna get on with the next step, which is, in a bowl, whip the double cream until stiff peaks form, then transfer into a piping bag, ease the nozzle inside the cut at the bottom of each profiterole, and pipe in the whipped cream until full. Now, I was gonna do this whipping by hand, but I actually need 500 milliliters of the cream, so I'm actually gonna go and find the, the whiskey thing. I've got my plug socket here, so I can't film it, because I need to go over there, so I'll all right, here I have some, what I think are fairly stiff peaks. These, by the way, are looking brilliant. They have uh, six minutes, 29 seconds left, and they look like bloody profiteroles. I think I've done it. Like, I actually have cracked it. I'm so happy with myself. Do you know what? I still have three minutes left. I've just looked at them, and they look really brown already, so I'm gonna get them out now. Maybe I just had them. Oh, in fact, the top shelf looks quite brown. Really good. Uh, and the bottom shelf, a little less brown. But that's fine, I'm gonna take them out now. One knife, uh, trying to make holes in my particular rolls. That rhymes. Oh, that's so hot. Ouch. Doing a little cross in each one. If I were single, blimey. Get a girl over, make a profiter rolls. Who could resist? Right, they're going back in for another two minutes now to release the steam. In the meantime, I'm going back to my cream and my piping. Oh, oh no. Okay. <laughs> Moment of truth. My well, two minutes are up. This is the last time they go in the oven. So let's hope they're cooked. Right, looking good. I'm gonna give actually the top shelf a little bit longer because the top shelf was originally the bottom shelf and they look a little bit flat, I think, because I took them out too early. I should have kept them in those extra three minutes. It's time to cream up. That's a horrible thing to say, isn't it? Oh, I've got a slight issue that my cream's gonna make the top. I'm gonna have to get rid of some. I'm learning, all right? It's my first time. My cream's still escaping though. <laughs> oh no. All right, there we go. Now time to melt some chocolate and pour it all on top. 100 grams of dark chocolate going over the boiling water. We'll let it melt, we'll pour it on, and profiteroles. Here we go, this is the fun bit. <laughs> and that, everybody, is profiteroles. Oh my god, oh, it's actually full of cream. I can't believe it, I'm, I'm amazing. That's the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because that's amazing. Um, 
leave me a comment. If you make these, then use the hashtag Baking with Jim. Show me on Instagram, on Twitter, and everything. And good luck because they're brilliant. Thank you very much, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.